Brother, don't strike. Brothers tonight. And everything's particular. When I was a boy, I had a friend at a school. He was my friend because he was a very nice boy. Not perverse, not sick, not twisted, sexual, and you ain't no bullshit at all. He was just a good chap, and I love him to this day. And this is his chin. Now look carefully. This is very important that you understand this, because I'm going to explain something that's going to bend your mind into a beautiful new dimension of perceiving reality in the universe. Consider this. You can't possibly see it on the camera system we have involved now, but each of these little shades is prismatic by a pixel. And I looked upon his chin the other day in discourse, as we often do, and often finally as friends we like to chat about the way of the universe. I notice his chin looks a bit like the universe, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Black mostly, but with lots of sparkly white bits. And thus, I was looking into his chin and seeing the universe. And then it occurred to me, ladies and gentlemen, if you can still bear with me in this lengthy hour of detailing the sheer exposure to knowledge we might actually have this night, well, then I can only tell you. That my final findings were an imagination so unique, so splendid, so wonderful, so beautiful, so divine, that I have to share it to you tonight in dulcet, explained form. And that form was that if we look at the universe objectively from a distance, like the old romantic sun, from a distance, There you will see, potentially in theory, depending on the trajectory of the angle you're looking to see, the face of every human being who ever lived, written in the stars among the universal glory. And it's only a question of perspective at the long term, long range, objective level. Which if you just shift a bit, look a bit, look a bit that way, look a bit that way, see another face, see another face, see another face. And it's infinite. Full of lovely faces among the stars. That's how they go to see it, this juncture. Shoot me how you will. Won't get you anywhere. If you want to survive, you listen to me. Not because I know how to survive. Just I think I know, you know, when you got a good thing, let it go, let it go, let it ride, let it, you know, not hostile, not hostile. It's gentle. Has the spirit with it. Very nice. Gotta go sometime. Why not go now? But I can. Because I'm a bona fide whisperer of the divine sky. And I'll just continue. What if it was real? What if it's all real? Though I'm sick of my psychedelic theories and the goddamn long-term maintenance and salvation. What if it was all fucking real? What if all the hate, the evil, the bile, the spite, the disgust, the revolt, everything that had gone on in our mind for tens of thousands of years and past acts in some kind of semblance of creation in, in the generic matrix of the universe? Came to this. This one moment. This one time. This one silence. The existence. To explain.
express one thing. They meant something of perfectity to you all. Nah. What if it was upon your shoulders? Trying to take this, to know this, to continue this, to, to, to contain this. You know the power of the most awesome expression for an entire generation? I think not. They're mixed now. Too long, too long in the field. They're all mixed up. Everyone's, everyone's a cuckoo. But you gotta remember, you gotta remember this. At some point, at some time, the dilation field opened for a generation to the words of vanilla ice. Alright, stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with his brand new invention, salt it, grab a hold of me tightly, go on, ah, uh, whatever. You know, I know, I know, it wasn't the best, but you know, we're under threatening conditions. And he was quite an innocent chap, and I recall actually, he even danced gladly with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, if I recall. Sad days of remembrance. I love that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme. It was a wonderful song back in the day. Turtle Power was its name. Turtle power, how we dwell in the innocence of unique finery budding into the core of new nature, unseen like anything seen before, dedicated to the pulse of survival for all but the grubby. Although there is a grubby lady down the street that I don't hate. I don't hate her. She's a bit grubby, but um, well, I don't hate her. She's alright. Why, why does that why, why, why do people not like each other, Daddy? Do you understand?